Can I like pick this up? I can pick that up. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. I can't believe that just worked. What's up, people? I'm Zog back on All the Mods 3, and I'm here getting some electrical steel stuff. I got some of these seeds here because I needed it, and you're about to see for what. I've been doing a little bit of work. Uh, we now have almost one full page. Well, that's not where I want to go. Almost one full page of recipes, and you see I got a lot of this premium stuff in here. I'm about to start separating it out because you can actually name these things. And uh, I don't think I named my first page. Oh, yeah, I did. I named it default. So... I don't know, you can kind of do that, and I'll probably start uh, separating it out into categories, but that's not really in something you guys need to worry about. Uh, but anyway, so I have this stuff here, and what I want to do uh, is go over to this guy, because I, I, I made a huge change, craft all 15 of these daggone things, because we need them. Yes, we need 15 speed upgrades. Now here's the change. Here is, you can kind of see what's happening here, okay? And I almost crashed out my game. Because there was so much experience being laid down. That's just a regular lag spike. No worries about that. Anyway, so... Yeah, this guy can't keep up. Like, he's close. So I probably didn't need a full 15. Um, he, well, I guess he is kind of keeping up-ish. But I think he's slowly falling behind. That's, that's what I think. Because as soon as he comes across a stack that's like really, really big... That's where he starts to be like, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I added a second connection here, and now we're just going to go bloop. And now he should have no problem. Uh, he's not supposed to have any problem at all doing that. Unless the second connection doesn't even count. I don't know if the second connection even counts. Who the crap knows? I feel like there's two of them. There is two of them. Okay, good. You actually have one taking from here, and you see this guy's going down here. So they have, like, they're rotating through so i i think this is going to keep up but apparently i did need all 15 of those speed upgrades because it's still not quite there yet anyway uh yeah so wither skull yep we've got 112 of them that's pretty good that's 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 pretty good now what i'm doing is uh, if we take a look in here you see that i have all the tools i have all the things here that i need i got all the ingots i got all these guys i got all the seeds i got all the everythings Oh, I made some changes to my armor. We'll check that out here while this guy's building, I guess. Uh, and he's not going to die right away. Uh, basically, I remade the Supremium uh, helmet thing. I hear you, dude. Oh, there you are. I see you. How's it going? I remade the armor, okay? Um, and this time, instead of night vision, I put anti-venom, okay? And the reason I did that is because night vision can actually be... An enchantment, which is what I did. So I put night vision as the enchantment, and then I became immune to poison. And then I put the other stuff on there you would normally put on any other helmet. And of course, I did that here. Iron wall is pretty good. It prevents knockback, which is a very cool thing. The rest are kind of vanilla-ish. You kind of know what they are. Same with this guy. Uh, and this guy is the same. Or no, this guy is the same. Um... As you might expect, except the charm slot, I remade this one as well, and I put wither resistance. So we're now immune to wither, lava, poison, and we have a general all-purpose resistance. So we're pretty strong, and they all have protection. So we're doing really, really good on the armor. And the reason I removed the speed is because I went through Batania a little bit, and I got the Sojourner Sash, the Band of Mana, which holds mana, and the Band of Aura, which generates mana. So now we should be... Not as fast. We're not as fast, but we're fast enough. I think we're doing pretty good. Oh, wow. Okay. Super loud, super loud guy. I gotta turn it. Okay. How about now, buddy? Are you super loud now? I should put a sound muffler or something over in the area. That would be really, really nice, right? I'm actually kind of curious. I am immune to wither. Hi, buddy. How's it going? How badly do you hurt me? Can you even hit me at all? Or is most of your damage... Hey, I'm literally in your cage. Come here. Dude, are you... What's going on, man? I don't think he can hurt me. Thanks. All right, shovel. Go. Craft. One. Start. Uh, looks like we're good. Go. And it's done. Wow, that was fast. That was super quick. That was a lot faster than I could have done it. All right, let's go give this to our builder. Hopefully it still works. All right, so we're going to go ahead and boom. Does that count? 
I don't think it counts. Ah! <laughs> they did! They fixed it! Well, you don't have an active one, but I'm, a, I'm assuming if I remove this... Actually, you know what? We're going to test it. You're going to request a fishing rod. You have a request? Fulfill. You're still freaking out and being stupid. I think I need to upgrade this place. But first, we're getting, like, these messages. I demand to have a house to live in, and I'm getting very upset. Times three. Three of them are saying this. And then the last one's like, um, can I get a job? I'm tired of standing here. So we need to come up with a job and we need to come up with a place to live for three people. So we're going to go ahead, inventory, and we're going to go boop, boop, boop. You should now be good to go. Your requests are now fulfilled. You should be able to do whatever it is you got to do. Yeah? There you go. Good job, buddy. I was just sitting here saying, oh man, you know, it'd be really nice if there would be a way we could actually see what kind of resources we need while we're on the go, like say at our station, since now we don't have the infinite wireless thingy thing. I was taking a look and I don't know if it's what we need or not, but it says resource scroll and something tells me that either one, it's a magical scroll that's going to automatically fill out whatever is you know, that, that, that'll change based on what materials we need in order to build whatever house. Or it's something that I'm going to like shift right click and it's going to be a simulation of me writing down all the supplies. So that way I have a mobile copy, which is really cool. Please shift right click the colony to register your clipboard to it. So do I shift right click with this thing? Registered to colony one. Couldn't find a registered builder. She please shift right click and Existing Builder's Hut. Registered to Colony 1. Ooh! Oh, check that out. It's a live updated version of the thingy thing that we need. What are you? And what do you what do you do? Okay. So is this just a, a clip? I don't understand. Okay, registered to colony one. Open requests. Oh, okay, so this is how you manage. Okay, so the resource scroll tells you all the resources you need, and the clipboard tells you all of the requests that these guys have. Oh, look at you go, man. Good job. Now we have a delivery man. We have two houses. Uh, we have the delivery person's house and a tier two fisher. So the, the fisher is tier two. Uh, the builder is tier two, and this hut over here is tier two. This place right here is kind of scary, but this is what we got to do. How hard, how difficult, you're a pretty strong dude. Okay, talisman number one. We need four pieces of a talisman from this place, and then we're going to do something else, and then we're going to do something else, and then we're going to go and do something else. What's up, buddy? Give me the piece. Give me one more. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so there's also something else we're going to do. Oh, can I not break it here? Oh, hey, buddy. Wow. Um, apparently, <laughs> can I not break this for real? Wow. You can't break this stuff? Interesting. That's very, very interesting. Can I, like, pick this up? I can pick that up. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. I can't believe that just worked. Um, okay, so let's get this spawner too, man. Can we pick this up? Yep, we can pick that up too. Oh, I love these sacks. Thank you, Cycling, for being absolutely amazing. You guys can't spawn anymore, guys. Um, I'm going to take you, and we're going to add you to our spawner collection. You are now officially my pet. Okay, so we do indeed need that altar. My question is... Can we craft the oh, can we craft this item back here at our base? And I'm getting so many lag spikes again. I just restarted the game. I'm just gonna put it back over here, just kind of out of the way. Uh, so the question is, does it have to be where it was, or can I just kind of shift click all these guys in here like this? Oh look, they're doing a thing. I have my very own personal dark druid altar. Pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to do this, but I just did it. It's fantastic. I tried to get some of those rune blocks as well that are over there because you can't break them apparently. But um, I don't. I kind of give me that. That's an awesome achievement. I like that. 
<laughs> Give me that! Uh, so we're going to leave this guy here because there's not really much point in not having him there. We're going to go put this up here near our other spawners. Uh, these guys will actually spawn during the day. I don't know if the other ones will or not. Like, obviously the zombies and the spiders and skeletons won't, but I mean like witches, I have no idea. I don't know because those are kind of custom spawners. These guys, they spawn in higher light levels. Those, oh, lag spike. Those guys, maybe. I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like any of them do, but these guys here. Hello, Mr. Mob Spawner. <laughs> You guys can spawn like it is and it has the little entity inside of it. That's pretty cool, man. That screenshot. Hold on. How do I turn things off? Not F2. Uh, there's a there's a way to do. I forget. F F1. There we go. There it is. Look. Looks like he's about to spawn. It's turning blue. Oh, look. Hey. <coughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's cool. I can't believe I have personalized. That's great. That's fantastic. I love it. Uh, okay, so now what I need to do is I need to get a sapling and we need to find a place to put this because this happens to be a gigantic thing. All right, it's time. We're going to use this little island over here. I've cleared it off and I think it's pretty good. It's far enough away so that we can build some kind of design around it if we want to. Um, it also opens up the idea of maybe putting a couple more islands out here. And then once we have them all set up, we'll just kind of have islands that are teleportation places to other worlds. I don't know. We'll have to describe that or explain that some way through the lore. But I'm already of the mindset that even pre-apocalyptic world was open to magic. Uh, magic existed in this world. And that's how we can kind of explain some of the stuff like portals and, and uh, I don't know, some of the other, <laughs> other things that we've done so far. That, uh, yeah, there's another leg spike. Oh my goodness, so often. Uh, but, yeah, and things like this here. So, I, I don't know. I know it's big, but I don't know exactly how. I hear him. Oh, wow. There must be, like, a cave underneath me or something. Oh, well. Boop. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. See how big it is and see if, see if we nailed it. Oh, that's pretty close, man. That's not too bad. That's not too shabby. It fit on there pretty well. I guessed it pretty right. And I even like how it's kind of going into the water a little bit. It works out really, really well, actually. I like that. Hello. Uh, sure. Give me some aquamarine. Why not, man? All right. So, oh, I really like those two. Top left portal frame. They're not all top left portal frames. <laughs> That's uh, not, 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 not the right words, I don't think. Uh, but now we can kind of go through. Oh, that is a cool teleportation thing. Okay. They say to watch out, okay? I don't really want to go in here if I'm not prepared to go in here. And to be quite honest, I don't know if I'm prepared to go in here. I'm going to put some of the stuff away in my backpack, okay? And I don't, I just, I don't, I don't even know if you can put that in your backpack. That's kind of weird. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to take what I have. I'm going to see if our food is good. It might turn into rotten food of some kind. Let's actually put some of it in our backpack. Maybe the backpack, maybe that'll keep it safe. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else. We're just going to go, guys. Hopefully our armor's good with this stuff. Hopefully we've got everything. I do have mending on this, right? Yeah, okay. It just hasn't mended up yet. All right, hold on. Yeah, look at that, man. That is a cool little teleportation thing. Wee, 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 wee. It's changed, too. It has totally changed. Loading terrain. We are in the wilderness. There we go. There we Dank world. Hello, dank world. Step through the portal tree. Yeah, it's portal tree. By the way, this portal tree is really, really cool. Good. I can fly. This is a good thing. Hello, little guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My weapon is good. My magnet works. I think we're doing okay. Rotten food. Oh, yeah. It did turn into rotten food. Look at that. Okay. Question is... Ha, ha, ha. It's safe. I can't use it because if I put it in my inventory, it'll, it'll like, rot, but that's okay. <laughs> this place, I'm so glad I can fly. There's some really, really bad things in here. Um, there's actually mud. Oh, perfect. I can I can demonstrate. Look, you can walk around normally everywhere, and that's fine. But there are places that are filled with nothing but mud. And when you're in here, you move so unbelievable. I know you can't really tell too much, but you just so slow. Like, it's really, really bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Anyway. Uh, okay, so there's a bunch of stuff here. 
there's a specific kind of tree in here that gives you what you need to survive the, I forget what it's called, but basically is those brown balls above uh, my hunger bar. Oh wait, first of all, we do not want to lose this place because that would be really, 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 really bad. Well, that's cool. Because this place is really, really kind of neat. It really is. Like you have some really, really cool creatures here. Like these guys right here, I want, I want one as a pet. I want him to follow me like over my shoulder, but he won't. So I kill him instead. I apparently got some solidified experience from him though. Oh, look at this guy. Gigantic frog guy. He doesn't hurt you though. Harlequin toad. I'm assuming unless you hit him, but we're not going to hit him because that would not be smart. That guy will attack you. Those guys will attack you. Been here before, in case you haven't noticed. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff. I'm just trying to find those trees. Because that, uh, that other thing, it's like corruption or something? Or decay. Maybe it's decay. I think it might be that. But there's a tree you can chop down. And I can't remember what it was called. I'm trying to look for an oddly looking tree. Oddly looking? Odd? Yeah, sure. Oddly looking tree. I thought it was these guys. Oh, no, you guys are rubber trees. You guys spawn here too? Sheesh. Alright, cool. I guess. Uh, I thought it was these guys, but it's not. Nimble wig? Wood? Wig? Wood? Little angler guys. You're gonna be a food source for me. Hello, lurker. I have my things. Me no scared of you. Except for when I can't actually... <laughs> satisfy the decay that I need to satisfy. There's some really cool stuff in here, too. I'm hoping to get to some of it today. There's my exit. I need to go around... I think this is it. It looks so much like the other one. I probably missed a few of them, but these guys, the balls of sap are pretty much what you're looking for. This is your food source. You see, oh, I have a whole stack. I got over a whole stack from that one tree, which is really good. If you eat these guys, which apparently, oh, I never showed you that. I have my eat fast charm, the gluttony charm from Dark Utilities. It allows you to eat so much faster instead of sitting there for like 15 seconds chewing on a something. Uh, but yes, it's sap tree is what they're called. That's where you get, you know, all your balls of... Ow. Oh, hi. Really, dude? Come on now. <laughs> this is the other reason I'm here. These guys right here are spawners. Now, we've already seen one with the druids. But if I do it right, I can sneak down in and get a hold of it. I don't even know what kind of a spawner it is, to be honest. Doesn't say exactly. We'll have to take a look at those later, but these things are just so unbelievably complicated. So hard to do. Uh, so hard to beat if you're if you're walking around. This is some of that, is this, am I a mud? Yeah, well it's peat, so it's not nearly as bad, but there's a lot of mud in these places. Um, like gigantic pools of it like this. And you're just like, oh my goodness, so slow. So if you have to walk through this, it's ridiculous. Like, I can't even fly right now because I have to get out of the mud. It's so, so bad. Oh, look, there's another one right there. Okay, cool. I want to get all of these things. Oh, oh, this one's a white too. Oh, hey, white. Ouch. These guys hurt. And they, they like haunt you. And they have a lot of health. Um... When they haunt you, you'll see their face, like, fly around you and, like, attack you. And, I don't know, it's just so crazy. What are you? DJ White Whites. Ha! It's a white spawner, so what DJ White? Anyway, hot new mixtape. Voog 2, Rave in a Cave. Cool, man. Jam Donuts. We got foods. These guys are really good, I think. Um, tastes good. Zero out of 50. So, I guess maybe there's some kind of an achievement or some kind of a thing that you get. If you eat 50 of these things, I'm not sure. But we're going to go ahead and do that. Ow. Hey, buddy. How's it going, man? You can die because you attacked me and I didn't like it. Yeah, that's one of those little guys. Hey, what's up, guys? Ooh, got a lot of big stuff here. Ooh, I found a pretty good... Get Swifty. This is a good Swift pick. Good as new. Zero out of 255. Barely any coding left. Zero out of 600. I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> I think those are achievements. I think they're achievement gets. We're going to start using this while we're here. Um, not that the other one isn't working, but just because, because, 
basically. Uh, although, I think we're going to have trouble attacking things. Do you work? Yep, that was a one-shot kill. I think that worked out pretty well. <laughs> Maybe Tinker stuff doesn't get diminished. That'd be cool. So I could just shoot everybody, hopefully. And now on to what the Lamp Keeper suggested. I know I kind of mentioned it, and then I haven't done anything with it after we got here. Um, that's just because I got sidetracked. I'm looking for something. But I don't want to forget what he suggested because I think it's a very, very cool idea. His idea was to grab some swamp water. Just some of the water here. I think this is all swamp water. Yeah, it's all the same. Ow, stupid angler. Uh, it's just different color because of different bi biome. But I'm pretty sure it's still swamp water, which means it's going... I don't know how it's going to look, but it should look pretty not great. Uh, which is... It will give the impression that the water's been sitting there for a while. So if we add any water into the park, which we might do because of this suggestion, I think it's a fantastic idea. Or any water we add into any other builds, I think this is where we're going to come to get that water. And I think it's... a fantastic idea the lamp keeper very 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 I, saw, I read that comment i was like oh man that is going to be perfect so uh good deal man good deal okay this is not the thing i was looking for this is a thing i've never seen before so that's also a good thing we can explore it together well after i get this spawner of whites haha -ha, it's a white spawner hello mr white how is you doing these guys, I don't know, these guys take a lot of hits, even with the bow. I don't know if it's diminished anything or not. I'm not entirely sure. Ooh! Bonus to attack damage at the cost of XP. Equip using the radial menu. Yeah. This this place has special rings. Uh, and some of them are really, really good. Bonus attack damage at the cost of XP. We won't be able to do that unless we turn this off. But if we turn this off and actually wanted to use it, we could give us basically unlimited on pretty much unlimited extra damage because we have that much stuff stored up so i'm gonna go in here enter the stronghold so this is a white fortress gotta be careful in this place oh 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 i forgot uh poof. we're gonna start at the top because it, oh look at that look at those spawners in there man we only have four bags left <gasps> portal gun holy crap look at that Spawner, 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 spawner. Then all the spawners up top. What are you? Only the sword keeper may pass this point. I don't know what that means. Hello. How are you? Uh, hi. Thank you. And you too? Uh, I said you too. Oh, there must be one of those spawners in there too. This is just crazy, guys. I don't know. Something about the sword keeper. So I don't know if we have to go through. But I want to get... When I, when I can get from here, but I don't... <laughs> I might have to start breaking spawners. Um, okay, so portal gun. What I'm going to try to do... I, uh, this is going to take... Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of time. Uh, I'm torn, guys. I'm torn. Because... I think we're going to have to take this on in the next episode. Because I don't, I don't have any more time today. And I do not want to break spawners, which means I want to go through this in the next episode. We're going to go through this, and I'm going to see if I can find something else. Uh, and we're going to have to deal with that then. So, yeah. Kind of a cliffhanger on this one, guys, but I have to. I don't have enough time to go through it, and I don't want to start breaking spawners. Because what I want to do is grab the spawners, go run out... Uh, put them down, come back, grab more spawners, run out, put them down. Basically, that's what I want to do. And that'll take a couple of hours, I think. So even though I do have my portal gun in here somewhere, at least one of them, I should anyway. Should be my tool bag, I believe. There's heartbeats. I hear heartbeats. Yeah, here we go. Portal, portal, portal. Yeah, so I'm good. I think this is the one I want to use. I think? I don't know. I need to name the guys. And yeah, I think we can actually name them. Once we make a few more, definitely going to have to name them. But that is about all the time I have for this episode. So if you did like it, please do hit that like button and subscribe to see more. Thank you so much for watching. Do what you do, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, peeps.